why we are going over this topic is because it's an issue of salvation. We want everyone to be saved. And this issue is a very important issue for Christians, Muslims, Jews, why Jesus cannot be God. And the first number one reason is that God cannot be before Before we go there, a Muslim, he is telling us about salvation when his Quran say clearly that every Muslim will go to hell. This is a promise in the Quran. You can go to chapter 19, verse number 71. And this is, by the way, the official government website of Jordan. Government website, not my website. Say clearly, read with me please. There is not one of you that shall come into, into it, or come to it, which means the hell, that that is, but shall enter hell. It's a must. So how you talk to others about salvation when you accept a religion promising you that every Muslim he will make, he will be about a barbecue in the hell. Every Muslim, it's a must. I don't want your salvation. You go there and enjoy your barbecue. Now, if we go back, we will see the following. He will give us the first reason why Jesus, he cannot be God. Let us hear. Born. God did not come into existence. He's always existed. He did okay, I missed something in here. Jesus, you know, he cannot be God because he was born. The descending order. Top ten reasons. Working our way to the number one most important reason. The first reason, beginning at the beginning, that Jesus cannot be God. And the reason why we are going over this topic is because it's an issue of salvation. We, we told we you We want this. everyone to be saved. Yeah, and you have no salvation and we showed everyone that every Muslim is going to go to hell guaranteed. What is next? This issue is a very important issue for Christians, Muslims, Jews, why Jesus cannot be God. And the first number one reason is that God cannot be born. God did not come into existence. He's always existed. He did not come into existence from non-existence. He was not born. He was not created. He has always been before there was even a thing called time. And we, as we all know, Jesus Christ, peace be upon him, was born. He was born without a father. Yes, indeed, that was one of his true miracles. But he was indeed born. He was in the womb for nine months, and he was born. So that, by its very nature, shows that he does not have the same quality and characteristics that God has. God cannot be born. Jesus was born. So those two people... So God cannot be born. Jesus was born. And in here, I want to remind people, when Muslims say can, God cannot... You know, they are making decision what God he can be, what God cannot be. But in here, this is not the question. If God cannot be born out of something, what, because what, what the word born mean? If we take it to a human, the way we are, you know, I, I am born, it's been the time I, I exist. Before that time, I was not exist. And this is true. But is that the case for Jesus? And he said something very funny. He said, okay, you know what? It's true that Jesus, he have no father. Huh? It's true that Jesus, he have no father. Huh? Well, if I ask you, who is the father of Jesus then? What you will say to me? No answer. So how you say to me, he was born, but he have no father. If it's about making sense and doesn't make sense, this is how dummy the Muslims are. It, you know, for them, it doesn't make sense when they want. It makes sense when they want. Just because it's mentioned in their book that Jesus don't have a father, they accept that. If it's not, they will make fun of us. They will say, you dummy Christians, you believe that Jesus don't have a father? Are you crazy? Just because it's in their Quran, they accept it. So, if you are talking about sense about God cannot be born, why? How is that? Because, you know, he cannot be born because this is the time he exists. Born, it's about how, when, when he exists. This is false. Simply because you are talking about born as every human. And Jesus, he is not like anyone. He is the only one. He is from a woman, which means he have a mother, but he don't have a father. So you cannot compare him with others anyway because you just accepted something not exist, something no way to be exist except a miracle of God. He is himself a miracle. Jesus himself is a miracle. 
This is not only a miracle of God. It is, you know, this is Jesus himself is the miracle. He himself is a miracle. Because the way he showed his glory to us, the way he came to us is a miracle. So it is not what the Muslims try to fool you with. And in here, I want to show you something. If we go to chapter 3, verse number 45, we read the following, that the angels, and by the way, this is one of the contradictions of the Quran, because in here it says the angels told Miriam. In different verse it says the angel came to Mary and told her. You see how, how dummy is the, the Quran? It's angels or angel, because it doesn't make sense, either one or many. Different story, it is one angel. And here it's many angels, no problem. Let us continue. So Allah, he is telling Mary in here that he sent the angels and he, they told her that the Messiah is the word from him. He is a word from Allah and his name will be the Messiah. And by the way, this is a translation, it says will be. In Arabic, it doesn't say will be. Ismuhu al-Masih Isa, which means he was given a name. So the word will be is not exist. And we can show you that in a very easy way. You see how we can expose the Muslim lies? This is again the official government website of, of Jordan. This is government website, Islamic State. It says in here, Mention when the angels, namely Gabriel, said, O oh Mary, God gave you good tidings of word from him that is a boy whose name is the Messiah, Jesus, the son of Mary. So it's not he will be. There is no he will be. And in here you ask yourself a question. We just heard him saying that if he was born, it means he was not exist. So how he have a name before he exists? If Jesus is not exist, you cannot give him a name yet. Because, uh, and by the way, it's not about he is telling her about something will happen in the future. Because as you see, there is nothing will be in the translation they try to fool you. Whose name is, is, whose name is, you see it? This is their, this is a Jalalain. So his name is, a, 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 you know, in Arabic it says, بِكَلِمَةٍ مِنْهُ إِسْمُهُ الْمَسِيحِ His name is, a word from him, his name is. So he will not be, he will not became, he is the Messiah. This is his name. And in here, we notice something else. That this word was given to Mary, sorry, this news was given to Mary, telling her that this word is from him, from Allah. And where is Allah? Allah is above. Supposedly he is God. Allah don't live in my bathroom. As long Allah is above, it means Jesus Christ is not from this earth. Because he is a word is coming from above down, not like Adam. You know, the Muslims, they will say to you, even Adam in the Quran, he is a word of God. This is false. Because Adam was created from dust and mud. And this is one of the mistakes in the Quran. He compared Adam to Jesus Christ. Jesus is from the mud, according to this verse, when he compared with, uh, with Adam. But the fact in this verse, in different verse, Jesus is not from the mud because as you see he is a word of God and he is coming from above and Allah he did not create something out of mud when Jesus was born Jesus was born out of a woman she never have a man which means she never knew a man so this Jesus who is the word of God he is coming from above which means he was exist before he was born because as you see he was be, he was given a title and he was given a name and not only that he was called holy in chapter 19 verse number 19 it says it clearly the angel is talking to mary he said to her to announce to thee the gift of a holy son and the question here very easy if jesus is just a man and he is not god how you call anyone holy? 
isn't it what Muslims say is only God is holy? If you ask Muslims, can Muhammad be holy? They will say no. Holiness is only about God and Jesus Christ was called in your Quran a holy son simply because he is coming from above simply because he is the word of God anyway this video is over we will continue in the coming video please follow with me time is up follow with me please with part number three Christ is Lord Islam made by a dummy for dummies I mean